Let's go watch it in 2D. No, let's go watch it in 3D. But if we watch it in 3D, then is it worth the cost? It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament of champions. That dragon marking? I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. Mortal Kombat. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and today I am reviewing Mortal Kombat, the 2021 movie. As always, I'll talk about the 3D element first. Unfortunately, I don't know why um, the 3D element is missing because. On the posters, it said it was going to be a 3D movie, but it did not get anywhere released that I know of in America, and that's a 3D movie. So I did look. I did not find anything near me at all. Usually I find one, maybe, but this time I found nothing. So I'm just going to have to admit that. That being said, I do think this could have had really good potential for 3D. There's a lot of dark lit scenes, but I think there's a lot of cool scenes that could have worked really well. Who knows? Now, on to the movie itself. Um, I have been off and on with the Mortal Kombat franchise. Uh, I loved the first few, um, and I kind of dropped off after that, maybe playing them here and there occasionally. Um, I did own the second Mortal Kombat game on the Super Nintendo, but obviously that was nearly 30 years ago. <laughs> and um, the franchise has definitely had quite a few since then. I've never seen the original Mortal Kombat movie. I've heard good things. Now, going into this, I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I respect that it's an R-rated movie, and uh, let's do this. I watched it at home on HBO Max, and I gotta say, it's pretty weak. Yeah, it's violent. Yeah, there's a lot of um, nods to the games, and a lot of those nods are really, really bad. Like, it just... You're shoving it in, man, and it it just feels off. It feels like, come on. I I get that you want to do fan service. Look at this cool moment, but it just doesn't fit. So the movie here, you start following the the character of Cole Young, and uh, he gets summoned to be part of the Mortal Kombat, and he joins other characters, uh, Sonya and Kano. And they eventually figure out with uh, Jax um, about the fighting tournament. And um, the movie actually starts in um, ancient times. I think it was like the 1600s. Um, And it does kind of have a scene with the scorpion. And I actually really like that scene. I would have liked more of that. Um, but the rest of this movie is just as dumb. Um, the action scenes are well done. They're, they're really vicious and ridiculous and in a fun way. But the script here is atrocious. Um, I was really surprised by the huge amount of screen time Kano had with uh, Josh Lawson. He is an ass in this movie. Um, to a degree, I kind of liked him, but he just got on the nerves. And the other characters noticed that and comment, hey, start up, shut up already. And at the very least, uh, Kano has a personality where Sonya and Cole, the two main leads here, don't. And it's just like, <sighs> I'm so not liking any of these characters. I don't really care if they die. I don't, and then they introduce more characters, and like, who are they? What's their motivation? I don't know. They're part of the fighters, and just like, okay, whatever, uh, movie, whatever. Um, it's just stupid, and it's just like, all these action scenes, and 
the fighting is, is fun, and they do have some fun elements, but I just like, you have one character in Kano that is actually, at least he has a personality. Everyone else is kind of one-dimensional, one note. And this, there's like a whole subplot with um, Sonia, and I just found that really distasteful. Um, I, don't, I don't know why they really chose to do it that way. So, yeah, it has a lot of fan stuff. A lot of stuff that people that played the games would be like, oh yeah, I remember that. A lot of the, the, the really transparent um, shout-outs and stuff to the games, but it's just like, come on, guys. Really? If you're going to have an ensemble cast, at least make them interesting, <laughs> besides being a one note. And um, yes, it's R-rated, but I also feel like they just like using curse words in every other sentence. And it's like, okay, guys, uh, you know, you can use that, but why do you have to use that? When, you know, certain sentences and certain kinds of dialogue, it's just like, it's not needed. I, I get certain times, you know, hey, I, I'm going to cuss if I get hurt. Yeah, sure. You know, not, you know, it's a regular talk, but some of this was just so much over the top. It's just like, all right, guys, it's a, that's too much. And it just feels like, you know, you have the R rated, you can go, you know, crazy with it. And it's just, it's not, you don't have to say F word every five minutes. It's, it's not needed. <laughs> um, I'm not against it. I just, you know, it, it's one of those things with the script. It's, it's just, it's bad. It's just bad. Um, the story here is just stupid. And it's, it's, I mean, the action scenes are fun, but it's not enough. And the more thing, t- more time I start thinking about it, the more I don't like it. And I only just kind of sort of liked it. I don't hate this movie. I don't love this movie. I don't know if it's better or worse than the original. I'm I'm just gonna critique it on its own merits. It's I I you know when it's not action, it's boring, and I don't like these characters. I don't care about these characters, and when they die, whatever. Um, the CG looks fine. There's sometimes where it's like, yeah, right. Um, so what do I give this movie? I give it a five. I'm sorry. I I don't. This one just did not connect with me. They're trying too hard, and it just has a script of a Transformers movie, <laughs> and it has the likability less than um most of these kinds of movies. I could enjoy a movie to a degree if, if it's dumb, fun, but this is just like so pathetically done. <sighs> I liked how many scenes but I don't like the entirety of it. Um, I like some characters, but kind of only. There's just nothing here. And um, there's nothing... You're going to forget everything that you watched five minutes later or an hour later or a week later. So it's all kind of... Yeah, it's a video game movie. Yeah, they're, they're being way too serious with it. And some of the stuff worked. Like, um, some of the, most of the stuff didn't. So... That's it for me. Bye. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano3D, Mr. Bengal5, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.